We are actually very grateful to have you know, strategic partners like Apple and also like Tencent and Alibaba. Apple being a leader, leading technology provider, they have a lot of things we are learning. That must have been a, a huge vote of confidence for you, for the business. Yes, everyone is very happy and excited about Apple joining. And how was it meeting Tim Cook? Oh, it was, went very well. <laughs> I joked with him at the beginning. I said, the legal name of our company is called Little Orange. I said, we figured, you know, all the companies named after fruit can grow big. <laughs> so, so we share in common, at least. <laughs> This is still very much an emerging industry. How much growth potential is yes. there? Yes, we see huge, huge potential. Right now, we are talking about 11 million rides completed on our platform, but that only represent 1% penetration in China's urban mobility. Our goal is by 2018, 60 million rides on a daily basis. 60 million rides means what? Means 5.5% penetration. Mm. That's how it's we get still, there. It's still tiny. It's still tiny. Didi is the dominant player in China, yet you are involved in a battle royal with Uber. Is this a case that this will be a fight to the death? When you have competition, you will learn how to improve yourself. But at the end of the day, the market will pick the best player. At the moment, you're breaking even, I think, in about half the cities you're in. But overall, Diddy is losing money, as is Uber. How long do you think this can continue? We have 400 city coverage. We're profitable in more than 200 cities. And we're closer to profitability than ever. Can you put a time frame on that? This is 1% penetration. Mm -hmm. right? It really depends on how fast you want to grow this market. You're in the middle of a fundraising at the moment. There are reports of an IPO, perhaps next year, perhaps 2018. Right. What can you tell us? The main purpose for IPO is to maximize the return for shareholders. All of our shareholders are very patient. The regulatory environment covering you is still very much a grey area. You're still waiting for clarification uh, on, on new laws. How big a concern is that for you? The government is starting to appreciate what we are doing right now. You know, the ride share industry is trying to address a few key issues right, that is core to the stability of China's development. For example, employment. You know, there's a steel company based in Wuhan, and um, there are people losing job because of the restructuring. And we actually work with our company together, you know, to convert um, the employees there into our platform to be the private car drivers. Right? That's something we can do. And I think the and they are actually making money. These new drivers. Yes. Yes. They're ma making a lot more money than they used to. Right. So that's the contribution we can do.